They're professional builders, the 20th Engineering Battalion out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Assigned to Task Force Scorpion for the Awastara 3 exercise, these engineers spent part of their time in Honduras shoring up the dirt runway at San Lorenzo, trying to make it year-round capable. Commander of the 20th, Lieutenant Colonel Gary Morgan, says they also took on the massive job of terrain reinforcement in the hot and dusty southwest corner of the country called the Choloteca Gap. Charlie Company Minus spent six weeks in the Gap constructing tank ditches and fighting positions to enhance the Honduran's national defense plan. That proved very successful as well. Some of the other missions we've been involved in include uh, construction of two base camps, one in San Lorenzo and one in the Choloteca Gap area. And we've uh, constructed these to a semi-permanent basis and have hopes that uh, these camps will be turned over for continued U.S. presence or to augment Honduran forces. The 20th engineers also took part in several civic action activities while in country. They built a soccer field, two cattle water basins, improved roads, and built two wooden bridges. The engineers' building talent enabled them to construct one of these trestle-type crossings in about six hours. One of the men from the battalion teamed up with five men of the 865th Well Drilling Detachment from the White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, to dig ten successful wells in southwest Honduras. Three were dug at San Lorenzo, one at the Alamo, two at the Anhill, two in Choloteca, and two were community wells, each averaging about 120 feet. The Texas National Guard has volunteered to take donations to send pumps back for these water supplies. All in all, this has been uh, just an absolutely tremendous training opportunity for engineers in Honduras. My observation is that engineers could continue to operate in this country indefinitely, and it would be most, uh, most beneficial both to U.S. forces in terms of training and to the people of Honduras in terms of uh, the nation building that we're capable of doing and the support of the military forces in the engineering type military work that we perform as well. They're a proud group of builders who left their mark on Honduras. From the JTF-11 Public Affairs Office, I'm Air Force Sergeant Bedford C. Vickers for the Aerospace Audiovisual Service.